Hello friends, welcome to Code Semantic and welcome to the video tutorial of ASP.NET Web API. So till now we have studied what is Web API, how to write the methods in Web API, how to test the Web API using Postman tool. But in this video we are going to see how we can consume our Web API in any .NET application. And for that we are going to use HTTP client class. So let us see it in detail. So HTTP client is a class which is basically used for sending HTTP requests and receiving HTTP responses from a resource identified by a URL. See, till now you have understood that whenever we want to send a request to the Web API or whenever we want to get a response from the Web API, you have to specify a URL. So whenever you are going to use an HTTP client class, there also you have to specify the URI. Through that identified URI, we can send HTTP request and we can receive the HTTP responses. So in short, you can say this class is an HTTP client for all the .NET application. And it is basically used to consume the functionality exposed over HTTP. Now definitely functionality is nothing but what whatever methods are available in your web api that is nothing but a functionality which is definitely if it is available on web api then definitely it is exposed over an http so all those functionality can be consumed in any dotnet application using http client class for example suppose you want to consume the functionality exposed by an asp.net web api in ASP.NET MVC application or desktop application, you can use a HTTP client class or you can say in any .NET application, even you can consume it in console application also. Okay. So next we are going to see the important or most frequently used methods of an HTTP client class. So all these are major or most importantly used methods. So as you can see here, all the methods are asynchronous as they are marked as or post fixed as async. So it means all these methods are what? Asynchronous method. So the first method is get async method, which is used to send a get request to the specified URI as an asynchronous operation. So the next two methods represents a post request. So whenever you want to send a post request, to a specified URI, you can use either post as JSON async or post as XML async. See, whenever we send a post request, we definitely send some data to the server. So, in which format you want to send your data? If you want to send your data in the JSON format, you can use post as JSON async method. Or if you want to send your data in an XML format, you can use post as XML async method. Similarly, we have two versions for put request also. So for put method also, you have two options. First one is put as JSON async and another one is put as XML async. Now the last method is for delete request. So whenever you want to send a delete request, you will use delete async method of HTTP client class. So definitely we are going to see all these methods practically from next video onward. Now, the most important thing is that if you want to use HTTP client class in your application, you have to install this package in your application before using it. So this package will support formatting, content negotiation, and basically it provides the supports for JSON, XML, and form URL encoded data. So whenever we are going to start this practically, the first step is we have to install this package. Then only you can use HTTP client class in your application. So I hope you understood what is an HTTP client class and what are the important methods of it. So in the next video, we are going to see how to consume a GET request using an HTTP client class in a console application. So first of all, we'll see how to use it in a console application. And as we move ahead in the upcoming session, we are going to see how to consuming it 
in MDC application also. So if you have any doubts or any concern, definitely you can write it to the comment section. Thank you for watching.